my name is Kendrick Stallard. I'm from Southern California. Uh, currently live at Wallaby Ranch in Davenport, Florida. Uh, I've been driving hang glider pilots, uh, I'd say since 2012, Big Spring was like my first, you know, start to this whole thing. And uh, I've been doing it ever since then. That's a funny question, why? You know, I, I think I'm a really passion-driven ind individual, you know, so once I finally got an opportunity to uh, get out here and do this whole thing and see all these pilots that are all coming together for this one singular purpose was exciting for me. And then finding out that there's this whole competition under undertow of action that's happening as well is uh, uh, definitely uh, something that's intriguing. Um, I love I love the tasks. I love the energy. It's 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 all something to keep you coming back. What do we got, Kendrick? Uh, so we're chasing down my sport pilots right now. Um, just making sure I don't get ahead of them, and also gonna check in on this other sport pilot that looks like uh, he's landed out. It's our boy James Race. Oh yeah. Uh, let's give him a cold. Yeah, give him a cold beverage. Make sure his driver's on the way. You got any rattlesnakes over there? Yeah. And uh, well, now there's a good dust devil coming over there. But uh... it's it's funny. Uh, actually. I think I, I, I made it a point to drive for the sport class. Um, me and a good friend of mine, David Aldrich, are focusing a lot of our efforts in growing uh, sport class membership and getting more participants. And I think bringing uh, my unique energy and some of my uh, talents to the sport class and trying to keep people excited um, is appealing. And that's why I do it. Shorter tasks. Um, that means I'm not having to get back home at midnight and um, and that's that's also a motivating factor as well. <laughs> oh, thank you. Yeah. I was chasing some little stuff, and because I could see it in the greens of the field, you could see it swirl, yeah. but it wasn't big. And I was chasing it, chasing it, and I couldn't get anything. So I thought, well, I land in front of it. Uh -huh. So I run over here, and then I landed, and then it hit me. Uh -huh. I was like, oh! It actually made my nose go over, and I'm like, he whirled around and <laughs> oh, touched no. the other side. So I was oh, just happy yeah. it flipped me all the way over. Yeah. So. How are you feeling? You good? Oh yeah, I feel great, but right. man, I'm just I'm frustrated. Stay, you know, second day in a row that I bombed out. I didn't make the first waypoint, so yeah. there's that. You got some points in there for sure, then. Yeah, I've got all right, be no, good. I'm all good. I'm all, all right, buddy. Good. Awesome. See you back there. Thanks for the water. Oh no, it's all love, man. I'm glad you're okay. It's key, you know. It's uh, I just remember like my first time being here, at Big Spring, and getting back to uh, the pilots meeting the next day after my first uh, task. And I found out a pilot was left out at his LZ. He had found, left at the LZ. His driver couldn't get to him. And speaking to him the next day, he had been dehydrated. And I, I just felt responsible, you know? So now if I see a pilot in that situation, it's like at least make sure they're okay, give them some water, make sure their driver's on the way. Yeah, and that's, that's pretty much it. Um, I think it's pretty fun. Um, I like, not having to wait and trying to coordinate when we leave with different start circles, you know, because I know the open class has that whole situation, which can get a little confusing. Um, so have, making sure all of my pilots get up and get out of that start bubble is a lot easier than waiting around and checking the clock and checking the trackers and stuff. Um, that's appealing. Oftentimes there's out and returns, which is nice for us because we just <laughs> kick it here at the airport. <laughs> This is the exciting part. <laughs> Trying to find out if I've moved too far along the course line or if I'm right underneath my, uh, my pilot. What I like to do is um, not get ahead of the pilot that I, that's the furthest back um, or has made the least amount of progress along course line. Um, just so I don't get too far ahead of them and they'll spend too much time um, in this brutal Texas heat um, breaking down without any support out there. Personal goals. Keep my pilots hydrated. Keep gas in the vehicle. Um, 
keep my memory cards <laughs> dumped so I can shoot stuff um, and keep my, 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 my viewers on Instagram informed, you know? Uh, that's that's kind of it, you know? Like like I said, like I really just want to keep these pilots motivated to, to do great things every day. Like that's uh, that's what we're all here for, you know? And that's just trying to keep that in mind and not trying to trying to be overcome by anything else is, is kind of like my purpose, you know? So it looks like this pilot right now, under here by the name of Jeff Parrott, is 2,228 meters above ground level. Um, some of my European friends out there can convert that to a uh, standard for me. Um, and it looks like he's gonna, he's just about ready to pass us, so uh, we'll make a move here in like five minutes, ten minutes. Uh, so this is, uh, I, I, I'm kind of guessing it might, it might be the thermal that one of my pilots is working right now. Um, let's get a good look at it right here. That's a, that's a good hit of nitrous oxide if you're in the right spot of the, the lift for sure. That thing is going straight up. You know, it's, it's, it's pretty simple. Like once you're here, there's so much energy and there's so many different things to get into, you know? Um, even if you, you don't fly and you just want to learn a little bit more about reading a map or orienting yourself in the new, new location or, or uh, 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 meeting new people from different uh, countries, like that's crazy. I met a dude from Brazil and Switzerland and Mexico and Puerto Rico, it, uh, Japan. Uh, it's it, it this is a, a melting pot not just of energies but of knowledge and i think it's uh it's 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 beneficial for anyone to jump out here and at least you know see what it's all about and if they find find out that they make goal once twice thrice and they learn how to use their computer finally you know and uh, they figure out how to tune their glider you know all of that information is here and ice cream Tell me a little about your flight. It was good. Um, yeah, I was kind of worried. You know, kind of worried at the end it was going to get soft, and it did. Yeah. But, uh, yeah, I wasn't sure how much to try and like outrun the sun or how much to stay high. And then until just now, I stayed pretty high. Yeah. Uh, it seemed like you were finding a, a, some lift around these parts, but it just wasn't enough to get up. Uh, at the very end? Yeah. Yeah, there was a lot of sink. Um, and then eventually I found some kind of like zero. Yeah. Over here and just like drifted turning into zero. Mm -hmm. um, hoping that it would turn into something and I could make it work. Well. But it was fun to try. Oh yeah. It's a good dude. flight. Day one, getting the goal, it was kind of wicked, you know. Uh, uh, two of my pilots were, or were still flying, uh, chasing them on the trackers. Uh, I have to shout out Flymaster. That is such a unique tool. Uh, being able to use that uh, was great for me, especially on this day. Um, I, never along the course line did I catch a visual of, uh, of Sarah or Dave for that, ma for that matter. So it was... I was really dependent upon this tracker and just making sure I was getting the, getting down course line and keeping pace. It was pretty intense. I think we were all kind of buzzing off of the fact that we didn't ha didn't have anything to do the day before, so we were all were kind of riding this wave of motivation and, and adrenaline, you know. And uh, I'm literally pedal to the metal, and I have a chase car chasing me, and she's pedal to the metal. And um, finally, I get in, get within radio range, and I hear. I'm glad you did a goal! And I'm like, oh my God, am I gonna be able to capture this on camera? This is like the main thing I, I wanna get is the experience, those main vibes, the tingling of the fingers, like right when your feet touch down, you know? Um, so we turned down this dirt road and I'm, I'm, I'm still flooring it and I probably shouldn't be kicking up all this dust. The chase vehicle is having to, <laughs> having to like trail way behind me because she can't see. And uh, finally, Sarah comes in the visual. I stop my car, jump out the door, and the whole time I'm thinking like, I need to get the shot, I need to get the shot, I need to get the shot. And um, her, uh, the chase vehicle car stops. 
her door jumps open and she starts yelling, get the shot, get the shot, get the shot. So I pop the door open, I grab the camera, pop it on, and this whole time I see, I see uh, Sarah finally transitioning, uh, transitioning to her, her, her hor horizontals, can you, what do you call that? Down tubes. Her down tubes. So she's transitioning to her down tubes and like, I'm trying to like pace everything and pull the tripod legs. So I'm like, you know what? Cancel the legs, turn the camera on, pull the cap off, turn the mic on, and I'm sprinting at her. How did I make it in time? How did I make it? it? Yes. Oh my god. How did I make it? Woohoo! Yeah! Oh my god. Oh my god. Hey, you see any other gliders around here? I don't see any other. Hey, what's up, Sauce? Holy shit! <laughs> oh my god! <laughs> Babe, hope her holder knows why this Yeah. Thank you. Yeah. Woohoo! I feel like I was watching a soccer game and it was just as loud and I feel like the like the drums that you hear and the banging of like tambourines like it was all present at that moment you know um, it was it was it was that feeling we were looking for and and we're, we're, we're finally we get her like taxied over and parked next to the car and like we kind of look up and over and now you see the a black leading edge with a with a blue bottom sail and there's the dirty Dave Aldridge finally in gold too and we're sitting there screaming, you yeah, boy! Oh look, someone else is in. Someone else? Yeah! Yeah! There we go. Yeah! And we get to feel like this whole electric feeling again, like, this is why we do it. Like that's why I say like there's so many reasons to be out here. Even if you're in a car or watching a tracker, come out here and see what's up. Like these feelings aren't aren't anything you can capture anywhere else, you know. You're not gonna do it making a peanut butter and jelly sandwich on your couch at home. Perfect. <laughs> <laughs> this is pretty tight.